Hey there, babe. Did you miss me? But you didn't expect to see me today, did you? Yeah, I wanted to make it a surprise. Besides, I brought you something. Just a little something from your favorite place. You know it. I wasn't going to show up empty-handed. May I come in? Wow. Oh my gosh. You really kept the place clean, didn't you? Everything looks so... Just so brand new. This is amazing. You didn't do all this for me, did you? <laughs> no, no, don't worry. I'll try not to mess things up too much. So good to be back. You have absolutely no idea. I couldn't stop thinking of you on the plane ride over. <laughs> no, no, it was... Uh, it was totally fine. Well, I was delayed like ten hours, but... That's honestly nothing compared to boot camp, anyways. That place was hell. Every little bit of that place was pure hell. You really don't want to hear about it, honestly. I mean, how have you been? I can't imagine things have been easy for you, being all alone here. I'm so sorry about that. I would have loved to have written you more letters, but they barely let me get any words in. I had to write letters while I was going to the bathroom because there just wasn't any time at all. Yeah, I, I know. It's not pretty at all. The letters you sent me, they... They really kept me going. You have no idea. I mean, some guys in there, they... They didn't get any letters at all, and... That really broke them down. It's just, thank you, thank you so much for keeping in touch with me, babe. It meant the world to me while I was in there. I don't think I could have made it through without you. Not being able to see you, it, it drove me crazy. But now that we're back together, we can do so many things. Well, I, I mean those things too, but... There will be plenty of time for that. God, you look so beautiful. I mean, it's like... I'm meeting you again for the first time. Hmm? Oh, you like the uniform. Well, well, tell me. What do you like about it? <laughs> Is 
Is that right? Believe me, babe, this is nothing. I got a much sexier one in the duffel bag. <laughs> hey, um, are you cooking something? That smells really good. Are you making spaghetti? <laughs> of course I guess it right. What kept me going in boot camp was remembering all the smells of my favorite foods. And you better believe spaghetti was at the top of that list. Especially your spaghetti. I can't wait to have some of your spaghetti. Come on. Please, please let me have some. You know, I lost almost 20 pounds while I was in training. I'm not sure you noticed. No, no. I really have. Here, see. You can actually see my six-pack now. Feel it. No, 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 trust me. I've always had this. Even before those months of training. And also, can't you see my jawline's a lot sharper? Feel free to touch that as well, but be careful. You may get cut. Did, did, did you just roll your eyes at me? You did. I think you just rolled your eyes at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Whatever. Though no, seriously. Do you think I can eat? I haven't had any real food since I was at the airport. Which, to be honest, that was just a couple pounds of uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and a bag of Cheetos. Flaming hot Cheetos, of course. No, no. I'm not talking about Amaris. The food they serve is... It's actually good, but there's a catch. You see, the thing is, they, they don't give you too much time to eat any of it. What do I mean by that? Well, let's just say they count down from 100. 100. 99, 98. That's how we all dreamed they would count. They never did that. Not even once. The only thing that was consistent was how they would start from 100. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91. We had no time to eat. Everyone was eating like pigs for those hundred seconds that we got to eat every day. I mean, yes, I also eat like a pig, but I did what I had to do. I promise, if you give me some spaghetti right now, I'll do my best to stop from embarrassing myself in front of you. I'll try my best to eat slow, okay? When it's done, obviously. Yes, yes, I can wait. I've already waited three months. How hard would it be to wait another two or three minutes? Anyways, seriously, enough about me. How have you been, babe? 
no, 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 come on. Not the, not the good, but like, how have you really been? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Listen, I know you really didn't want me to go to the military, but I'm going to make it up to you, okay? It's not normal for a girl to be left alone for that amount of time. And, and sadly, I do have to go back after about 10 days. But for every one of these 10 days, I would like to do everything that I couldn't do with you. I want to go out and eat at your favorite places, sleep in all day and cuddle. Honestly, when I was in boot camp, I was more scared of losing you than I was of any of the drill instructors. Every time I opened up one of your letters, my heart just stopped. Because I asked myself, is this the one? The one where she breaks up with me? Leaving you alone for so long, just, it just felt wrong. It's so wrong that I wouldn't even blame you if you broke up with me. No, no. In my heart, I knew that you would never do that to me. You're the most loyal girl that I could ever ask for. And I love you so much for it. But everybody around me was just... <laughs> They were getting the John Doe letter. That's what they call it. Basically, the John Doe letter is when your significant other breaks up with you through a letter. It's very common when the guy goes to boot camp. All the guys in my platoon, they, they thought you'd cave in. They place bets that I would be getting a letter someday. But a part of me inside was rooting for you all along. And I knew you would never do that to me. I'm so glad that you didn't do that to me. Anyways... The good news is, they're transferring me nearby shortly after I return, and I can visit you every weekend if I want to. Or we could, we could get a house just off base together, and we can live there. Things will be just like they were before. Perfect. I mean, isn't that great news, babe? We'd never have to be far away from each other ever again. We can go on dates again, watch movies together, cuddle. You get the idea, right? I just think there's... There's so much to come for us. And it's so good to be back. Though anyways, I'm... I'm in dire need of a shower. How much longer until the spaghetti's ready? Sounds good. That's plenty of time. Well, babe, what, what are you doing standing there? Come join me, come on. Of course, silly. The sauce will be just fine. I promise. We'll be quick. 
I'll even, I'll even let you help me undress.